Hi everyone, Dr. Bloxham from Feller and Bloxham Medical. I'm making a video today to go over a very important milestone or kind of a landmark in the hair transplant journey, and that is the uh, six month mark. Now, the reason I'm making a video about the six month mark is because, as I said before, this is a very important time in the journey. And the reason why it's important is because this is the point where patients really start to see some appreciable results. Most patients are very happy around the six month mark. It's a very exciting time. Um, and so it's an important one to discuss. But another reason why I'm making a video focusing on this point in the journey is because there seems to also be a lot of misconceptions, uh, specifically misconceptions online, about what the six month mark means. People seem to think that it is the, the greatest indicator as to how your transplant will turn out. Um, people seem to think that if you aren't right where you want to be killer, excellent results at six months, that it's not going to turn out well. Uh, and this isn't true. So I'm going to make this video to kind of show where you, you should be at six months, what you can expect, um, and also to kind of clear up some misconceptions. And the way I'm going to do this is by presenting a patient. So I'm going to present this patient, and then I'm going to go over four different elements of the six month mark of where you should be, things you should look out for to kind of help guide you as to how you are uh, at the six month mark in your own personal journey. So let's jump right in. So the patient is a gentleman in his mid 40s with pretty advanced hair loss. You can see in these before images here, uh, pretty much thinning at least through the first half, probably a little bit more, and he wanted to restore this. So the next set of images you're going to see here uh, is our plan for the morning of surgery. So what we planned to do was a, about a 2,500 graft uh, FUT case to rebuild that whole front. You know, he wanted to, to really restore his look and um, as you can see, this is just what we're gonna tackle for the day here. Nice conservative hairline, uh, big rebuild. The next images you're gonna see here is how he looked right after surgery. 2,500 grafts, nice and packed in there, clean, what we want to see. So the next thing we're gonna jump into here are his uh, six month pictures. The patient returned to visit with us at six months. Uh, we like to touch base with patients around the six month mark for some of the reasons we've been discussing here. Um, and so before I jump into these images here, I'm gonna explain the four elements that uh, I think that you guys need to look out for at the six month mark. Kind of four different things that you can use to sort of determine where you are. Um, so the first one is looking for an appreciable difference as far as the amount of hair is concerned. Um, the second one is starting to basically use this hair uh, with the rest of your hair. You're starting to integrate it, starting to cut, starting to style it. Um, the third thing that you need to look out for is the quality of the skin in general, how the skin has healed up post-surgery. And the fourth thing you're gonna to want to evaluate at the six month mark is the donor, how the donor area is healing up. Now I'm gonna get into more detail as we're going through this, um, but first let's jump into the six month pictures and not only his just after pictures, but then also some comparison pictures. And we will go over the first two elements that I discussed. So an appreciable difference and also the um, change in style. Is he using this hair to kind of actually start changing his appearance? So let's jump right in here. So the first thing that strikes you with these images, uh, obviously, is yes, he has an appreciable difference. You know, we'll get into some comparison shots here in a second, but obviously he has a lot more hair. Um, and the second thing that we're gonna look at here is, uh, is he using this hair to, to style? Is he integrating it with the rest of his hair? And obviously, yes, he's, he's clearly cut his hair. He had very long hair before. Uh, let's jump into the comparison shots here. So really help make the point. He had long hair before, um, and now he has cut everything short. So he's completely transformed his look. And um, as you can see, he's, he's utilizing the transplants. They're not just there, they've grown to the point where he can actually cut them, style them, change how he looks. But what you also want to look out for is the hair itself. Six months is the, the halfway point, the 50% maturation mark. So these hairs are a little thinner. Um, the characters are a little different. They don't quite match the native hair yet. And uh, it's going to get about twice as thick as this. But so far, the first two elements that we needed to look out for, um, appreciable difference and starting to cut, style, integrate the hair, uh, check, check. So he's doing that at six months. So what I'm gonna do now is jump into the video. Um, and what I really wanna look out for in the video is the third thing I discussed, which is uh, how does the skin look? Because at six months, what you wanna make sure is that the skin is, is back to maybe not 100% normal the way it was before surgery, but it's, it's healed up. You don't have any big 
changes. And if you do, if it still looks a little rough, a little raw, um, if you still have things that are maybe leaking a little bit or something like that, you should speak with your doctor about it. By six months, the skin should look pretty darn good. So let's jump right in here. So again, very appreciable difference. Um, and you'll see here in a moment when I start combing that the skin itself looks good. We don't see any big uh, craters in the skin. We don't see any big changes in the skin. The skin looks pretty flawless. And the last thing I'm gonna show here is the donor. Um, this is going to touch on our, our fourth point that we look out for at the six month mark, which is the, the donor area. Now at six months, your donor should be about 50% matured, the same way the results in the top should be about 50% matured. And what this means is that the donor at that point in time, um, depending on the procedure you had, either FUT, the strip method, or FUE, the one by one harvesting method, um, the scars are gonna be a little more apparent. They're gonna be a little bit bigger at that point. Um, it's going to continue to mature, they're going to get smaller, they're going to flatten, they're going to contract. You're also going to have a little bit or you could have a little bit of, of potential thinness, what we call temporary shock loss in the donor area. Again, the key word there is temporary. It's going to resolve, but you can have a little bit of that. So the donor should look good at this point, but the scarring may be a little bit more apparent. You may be relying on slightly longer hair to camouflage it at that point. And um, it's not done yet. It's, it's still going to continue to improve, uh, but it should be pretty well healed up like the top. So let's take a peek at his scar at six months. Okay, so first thing we're going to notice here is that the donor in general looks healthy and you can see his scar nicely healed up, um, but it's a little bit bigger than I, than I think it's going to be at 12 months. It still has time to contract and shrink and any loss around it will snap back as well. So thank you for watching the video. I hope this was helpful. Just to kind of recap here, made this video um, to help people at the six month mark. Six month mark is a big important milestone because you've really got some changes. Um, but what you need to keep in mind is that it's not the, the end all be all. It's not the final point. If you're not where other people are at six months, don't worry, you've got plenty of time to catch up. But what you should be looking for at six months are these four things. Number one, appreciable difference. You've got something coming in there. It looks different than it did you know, before you had the surgery. Two, are you starting to use the hair to actually style? Is it integrating in with the rest of the transplants? Are you cutting it? Are you using it? Number three, uh, is the skin healed up? Does the skin look roughly the way it did before surgery? Are there any little areas that you think you need to have checked up? And number four, how does the donor look at this point? At this point, the donor is about 50% matured like the top. So it may not look 100% how it's going to look at the end. It's probably gonna improve. The scarring is likely a little, a little bit more apparent, but it should look pretty good, pretty healed up. So I hope this video was helpful. Uh, as usual, I'm Dr. Bloxham. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, and we will see you in the next video.